Article 31. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $5,000, said sum of $5,000 to come from the unassigned fund balance, a fund containing unexpended appropriations from prior years, as of December 31, 2015, and with no amount to be raised from taxation, to provide partial funding for the planning of a town war memorial dedicated to the town's sons and daughters who have served in the militia for the protection of the community in colonial wars from 1638 to 1774, and who have fought in wars for our nation from 1775 to date, and to provide appropriate space on such memorial for those who shall serve in future, in future wars. The Board of Selectmen to work with the Hampton Post 35 of the American Legion and such individuals as the Board of Selectmen shall appoint to plan the memorial and its place of erection on a parcel of town-owned land and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, accept and expend for such purpose any funds from the State of New Hampshire, the federal government, or any private source as may become available to add to the sum. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per, per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and will not lapse until the project is completed or by March 31, 2019, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee, 12 to 1. Fiscal impact, no finance department, no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 31? Moved by Mr. Bean. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Waddell. Uh, Mr. Bean, would you like to speak to Article 31? I fully support the uh, article, and if Mr. Welch could shed some light on please. Mr. Moderator, uh, the intention here is to list the names of all of those who have uh, served in the militia uh, from 1638 to 1774 and all those who have served in the United States military since 1775 in this memorial. There are more than 2,000 names of individuals who have served uh, from this community in those individual uh, conflicts during that period of time. Thank you. Mr. Edgar, would you like to be heard on Article 31? Uh, Mike Edgar, 7 Ann's Terrace. Uh, I want to speak in favor of this. It's, uh, I'm representing the American Legion Post 35 of the Hamptons. Um, Ralph Otello had discussed this with the town and they've been talking with him about it for a while. Our past commander, our present commander has also discussed it. Unfortunately, neither of them could be here today, so I was given the honor to, uh, to request your vote. So uh, all those that are out there listening. So we would like to uh, we look forward to working with the town on this, on this committee if this passes, and uh, maybe even if it doesn't pass, we'll work on it and, and continue to try again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgar. Mr. Collins, would you like to be heard? Good afternoon, Pat Collins, Boar's Head. Uh, I too speak in favor of this article. Uh, as an historian, I'm intrigued by the fact that we haven't perhaps done this earlier. As a town resident, I'm overjoyed that we're thinking of doing it now. So this article has my full unwarranted support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Uh, I'm also, I also rise in full support of this article. Uh, some questions may come up in people's minds as to whether they want to support this or not for various reasons. One is, what happens to the names that are on the existing monuments that we have around town? Uh, what happens to the names that are not on any monument around town? What happens to other uh, uh, road signs and so on and so forth? What do, how do we handle all of this? This is why this calls for a study group to look at all of these things. Uh, I think that uh, if a study group looks at it, they will come up with a good solution uh, that will address all of these concerns to make sure that everybody from the town of Hampton who served in any of our wars from our incorporation to the present day and on into the future is properly recognized in some format. How to, uh, how to deal with the duplication of names as there may be on some of them. I mean, we've got tablets on the, on the uh, uh, library, we've got stones here, we've got uh, all over town we've got various ways that we recognize uh, our, our veterans and our, uh, those who lost their lives in service. And I think this study group would be a good way to address all of this, resolve it, and make sure that everybody is properly recognized. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Mr. Jones. <clears throat> Budget Committee voted for this 12-1. And believe it or not, I was not the one. I was one of the 12. But I did want to caution uh, those who are doing the plans. 
that if you read the wording in there, it's just fairly extensive. You're going to be putting, uh, or you're going to be memorializing names of uh, those who fought prior to the beginning of our country. And that means you're going to be memorializing effectively British soldiers. Now, obviously, they were protecting the colonies, which is the same place geographically, and I don't have any objection to that, but we need to keep in mind that when you're putting those names on, some percentage of those names fought against the American Revolution. They continued to fight with the British side during the American Revolution. Those names should not be included in the memorial. So that's all I have to say. I still support this article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 31? Seeing none, Article 31 will appear on the ballot as printed.